People want to see a peace deal in Ukraine, not murdering more Ukrainians and more Russians. This needs to end. But no, Mike Johnson has has made a complete departure of who he is、um, and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Because、right. he's completely disconnected with what we want. Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. I, I can't comprehend, Tucker, what radically changes a man. I mean, if we break、yeah. down the, the second part of basically an omnibus, let's, let's break that down. So Mike Johnson is, is pro life. In the second part of the omnibus, just less than two weeks ago, he funded full term abortion clinics. Full term abortion clinics. He funded the trans agenda on children. I mean, how does that even happen from a Christian conservative Republican speaker? He did nothing for the southern border, did nothing to secure the border. And this comes on the heels of Lake and Riley being brutally murdered. This came on the heels of a video that was running on loop on social media where illegal aliens had rushed our border, ran over Texas National Guard, ran over Border Patrol agents in order to invade our country. These were military age men, by the way. This, he did nothing to, nothing to secure a border. It's the number one issue in the world. He completely changed who he was, funded the FBI, gave him a brand new building, fully funded the Department of Justice that is persecuting everyone on the right and actually targeting our, our presidential candidate,、uh, for, for election this year, literally trying to put him in jail the rest of his life. We don't know who Mike Johnson is anymore, so there's no t- I, I can't comprehend it. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, who has said the second the congressional recess ends, his number one priority at a moment when the U.S. is being invaded will be to send that $60 billion to Ukraine, possibly as a loan. Not that, of course, anyone expects Ukraine will ever repay or be grateful for that money. They're not grateful now. So we sent a message to the Speaker of the House and asked him to come on and explain why, when The majority of the Republicans he represents, both the voters and members of Congress, oppose this. Why he would join with Democrats to do the one thing that Americans don't think we should do, which is send another $60 billion to pay the pensions of Ukrainian bureaucrats and fund a doomed war. Why are you for that? And of course, he hasn't responded. We also sent multiple requests to Zelensky himself for an interview to explain his position. Of course, he ignored that as well. There's not a lot we can do, but one person who actually serves in the U.S. Congress and who is saying the truth about this question out loud is a member from Georgia called Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she joins us now to explain what she's doing in the face of this insanity. The details of the foreign aid package that we're going to be voting on next week when we go back to Washington, we're reading about the details in the news. Let me tell you something. Not one Republican member of, of our conference that I have spoken to has any idea what is in this foreign aid package that's going to give $60 billion to Ukraine. And that is even the leadership offices. They haven't heard from Mike Johnson on the details. We're reading about it in the news the same way the American people are. And it's outrageous. When you saw Zelensky Right there on that interview, talking about, oh, we're going to lose territory. Oh, we really need this money. This $60 billion should have been approved yesterday. Let me tell you, we are losing our country to the illegal invasion that's happening every single day at our southern border. And I am so pissed off about it because the American people are pissed off about it. And while our so called Republican Speaker of the House is only working with Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries and Ukraine. First, Mitch McConnell and the White House and Jake Sullivan, who he talks to on the phone all the time. We are angry and people have had it. We don't want $60 billion to go to Ukraine because as we slept last night, Tucker, we just went $40 billion more into debt. And that's because the interest on our debt is so huge and our debt is so massive. This is happening while we sleep every single night. So, no, we don't want to send $60 billion to Ukraine. We want to put our country first. It's time to care about America. So, I mean, is it true? Do you think that the Republican speaker would bring this up at when your recess ends and get it passed without the majority of Republicans, but with Democrats? Like, it, could that actually happen? Yeah. Yeah, because that's what he's planning to do. Here's what I've been told. Well, first off, let's go back, Tucker. The last vote that we had on any Ukraine funding was on September 28th of 2023. That was only months ago. 
And that vote, only only 101 Republicans voted yes for $300 million. $300 million to go to Ukraine. And that was because I pitched an enormous fit and said, take this money out of our Department of Defense. We should not be funding a foreign war in order to fund our military. That's completely wrong. And our military, their mission, as stated on their website, is to put our national security first. It's all about our national security. Fighting a proxy war with Russia in Ukraine, which is a non-NATO member nation, is not protecting America's national security interests. It doesn't protect the United States of America. As a matter of fact, that pushes us closer and closer to World War III. So we had that vote on September 28th, 2023. 117 Republicans voted no. That was the majority of the majority. Every single Democrat voted yes. Every single one. They had zero Democrats vote no. Our Republican Speaker of the House is planning to suspend the rules next week. He is planning to not put this bill through the Rules Committee. He's not going to allow us to do any amendments. Amendments are our way of changing a bill. Amendments are our way of putting our district's interest, who we represent, that's our job title, representative. It's our way of changing a bill. Mike Johnson is going to tie our hands behind our backs and not allow us to do that. As he brings that bill to the floor, every Democrat will vote for it, and a small portion of Republicans, less than the majority, will vote for it as well. And this this isn't a Republican speaker we have right now. This is a Democrat speaker in the, of the House because there is zero daylight between what Nancy Pelosi did last Congress and what Mike Johnson is doing now is our so-called Republican speaker of the House. It's just- it's interesting that he's talking, and a, and a lot of people in the media are talking, we haven't been able to talk to, but to Zelensky, who's a foreigner, with his own interests, of course, um, but not an American, and certainly not, we hope, uh, a voter in this country, but but all these people take calls from Zelensky and, and are swayed by him. Is it a little weird to see an American Speaker of the House pay closer attention to a foreign leader, or a number of different foreign leaders, than he would to his own voters and colleagues in the House? in our legislative body? Yeah, absolutely, especially considering Mike Johnson has um, completely changed his character in a matter of about five months after he has become Speaker of the House. Mike Johnson is a Christian. Uh, he he called himself a conservative, always has been. Um, he's, he's a Republican member, but yet... Here we are after the minibus was passed just just almost two weeks ago in Washington. And now with the $60 billion going to uh, a war in Ukraine that Americans, 70 percent of Americans do not support it. That's the most recent polling. 70 percent of Americans and the majority of our majority of Republicans do not support funding Ukraine. People want to see a peace deal in Ukraine, not murdering more Ukrainians and more Russians. This needs to end. But no, Mike Johnson has has made a complete departure of who he is um, and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Because right. he's completely disconnected with what we want. Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. I, I can't comprehend, Tucker, what radically changes a man. I mean, if we break yes. down the, the second part of basically an omnibus, Let's, let's break that down. So Mike Johnson is, is pro-life. In the second part of the omnibus, just less than two weeks ago, he funded full-term abortion clinics. Full-term abortion clinics. He funded the trans agenda on children. I mean, how does that even happen from a Christian conservative Republican speaker? He did nothing for the southern border, did nothing to secure the border. And this comes on the heels of Lake and Riley being brutally murdered. This came on the heels of a video that was running on loop on social media where illegal aliens had rushed our border, ran over Texas National Guard, ran over Border Patrol agents in order to invade our country. These were military aged men, by the way. This, he did nothing to, nothing to secure a border. It's the number one issue in the world. He completely changed who he was, funded the FBI, gave him a brand new building, fully funded the Department of Justice that is persecuting everyone on the right and actually targeting our, our presidential candidate, uh, for, for election this year, literally trying to put him in jail the rest of his life. We don't know who Mike Johnson is anymore, so there's no... T- I, I can't comprehend it. Well, I, do, I have noticed, just from living in Washington for so long, that a lot of the top 
decision makers are lying about their personal lives and there's something you know really amiss there mm -hmm. um and th i would definitely say a mitch mcconnell uh, would be among those and there does seem to be a connection between the creepiness of your personal life and the deception around your personal life and your willingness to vote with the other side i mean have you noticed this at all Absolutely. And I think it's something that the American people are extremely aware of because none of it makes sense. Yeah. How do you become Speaker of the House? And, and let's look at that. It's basically like there's uh, Establishment Washington um, runs like a company. We could call it the firm. Well, Mike Johnson just got promoted to senior partner at the firm because he has been obeying their every single demand. He funded the military. He funded the military industrial complex and everything that they want done. He funded Biden's open border invasion. He funded the Green New Deal, the climate agenda. He funded full-term abortion clinics, the trans agenda on kids. He funded every single thing that the firm stands for and what they're trying to push on the rest of the world. This is the agenda for the rest of the world. And they are not... They're not hiding it one single bit. We saw the White House declare Easter Trans Day of Visibility, which is the biggest insult slap in the face to Christians all over our country. And that's the majority of Americans. They are not hiding it. How did Christian conservative Mike Johnson go from being a Christian conservative, voting that way, legislating that way, to the Speaker of the House that actually funds that agenda? I mean, what in the world happens? And you can't help but to question, what do they have on him? Is he being blackmailed? What would make this man do this? And I would argue there's something wrong because every single time I hear him open his mouth, he's complaining about how tired he is and talking about how he only gets three hours of sleep at night. Tucker, let me tell you something. I, and you know this too. I have worked my ass off like at times in my life where I'm training for triathlons, training for major competitions, working full time, raising three children. And at those times in my life, I was still able to get seven or eight hours of sleep, busy as can be. There's something wrong with your conscience if you're only getting three hours of sleep at night and you're tired all the time. And it's because you are you are going against your who you are. You're going against your inner self. You're going against the person that you are but you're turning into something else. And and I think something is seriously wrong, not only with him, but many other people in Washington, DC. Man, I think that's such a deep, that's such a deep point. And thank you for making that. And to the question, and look, I try to invoke people's religious faith. I feel like it's personal, <clears throat> kind of not my business, but Mike Johnson has talked a lot about his faith as a, as a, as a Christian. And he says it informs all of his decisions. Mm -hmm. um, so with that in mind, here he is, funding a government in Ukraine that's putting priests in jail, putting literally putting priests in jail, banning a Christian denomination, you know, sending the army in to close churches. And he's also funding a war in Gaza that's killing Christians and blowing up Christian churches. So how can a Christian be in favor of using U.S. tax dollars to kill and imprison other Christians? I don't understand that. What is that? Yeah, you can't be. It's called a hypocrisy is what that's called. That's that that is completely against every every tenet of our Christian faith. It's against what the Bible says. You know, if we went to biblical principles, Tucker, biblical principles teach us to not be in debt because we are slaves to our debtor. But yet this morning when Americans woke up, they found themselves thirty four point six trillion dollars in debt and it went up forty billion dollars while they slept. So that's a, that is completely against our Christian faith, against our our principles that the Bible teaches us. But to fund the murder Every single day to fund a war, to pay for it, to continue it, to advise it, to have our CIA on the ground over there running that war in Ukraine against Russia, nuclear armed Russia. This is beyond this. You can't even call yourself a Christian if that's what you're doing. That is a complete yep. departure from anything that is Christian. 
And I would argue funding wars all over the world is a complete departure. Because here's the truth. They lie to us every single day, Tucker, telling us that Vladimir Putin and Russia is going to continue and march across Europe and take over Europe. That is a complete lie because that is not what we are seeing with our eyes. And that is not what history, recent history, is showing us. And that is not the statements of Vladimir Putin and Russia. That is not what they are saying they want to do. Yeah, I mean, like they care about Europe. They blew up their natural gas pipeline. <laughs> they impoverished Europe. They right. destroyed the economy of Europe. <laughs> Mike Johnson and his friends. So let, last question. Is this actually going to happen? Will this funding go through with Mike Johnson leading the charge after recess? Yes. Everything that I've seen, everyone that I've talked to is this is happening next week. He's going to suspend the rules. He's going to bring it to the floor for a vote. Every Democrat is going to wear their blue and yellow lapel pins and flags and and scarves, and they're going to to vote to fund that. And we're going to have, you know, a percentage of our Republicans that actually support it will vote to fund it. And it, it will pass in the House. It, it will pass in the House. It'll go to the Senate. Mitch McConnell will line up his little Senate soldiers and they will vote for it. And Chuck Schumer can't wait to pass it because, I mean, because Ukraine is everything, right? Ukraine is everything. Murdering an entire generation of Ukrainian men is the yeah. most important thing that they can do. And yeah, they'll pass it. And then Joe Biden will sign it into law. Um, if the American people, if the American people, th- let me tell you something, Tucker, and I can't make this point loud enough. The American people can stop our government. They can. When they, when they decide that it's important enough for them, when, when they realize that within 10 years, in 10 years, CBO has projected that we will be approximately $55 trillion in debt at the current spending levels. If everything stays the same, we're going to be $55 trillion in debt in 10 years. We are going to implode. If the American people finally decide they're tired of illegal aliens murdering them, they're tired of illegal aliens squatting in their homes, they're tired of illegal alien men raping children and raping women. Yeah, if the American people finally have had enough and say no, they can stop it. And let me tell you, Tucker, if the American people say enough of of sending money to foreign wars and foreign aid and funding the murder of people in foreign countries and uh, in countries we can't even find on a map most of the time. Yeah, if the American people say they've had enough of that and they're able to engage in this and stop spending all their money on all their hobbies and being disconnected and refusing to look at the serious situation that we're living in right now. Oh, yeah. The American people have far more power than I have, and I'm a member of Congress. If they literally hold our government accountable and stand up and say, enough of this, and I think they should throw out every single elected official. I'm not kidding. Every one of us should be thrown out. This government is a failure to the American people, and I'm angry about it, Tucker, because I'm a mom. My adult children and that generation and your kids and our grandchildren at the current current rate right now, they'll never be able to afford a home. They have no uh, strong financial future, and they are going to be uh, living and raising their own children in a country w- whose government has screwed all of us over. And, and that is the flat out honest truth, Tucker. And so, yeah, the American people could stop it if they really want to. That's all for today. Thank you. If you want global news to keep you up to date on any new developments, Please subscribe our channel and forward our content with your friends on social media and email. Thank you very much for keep supporting me. Stay safe. Be blessed. Namaste. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America.